Hey, what's happening guys? It's Phil here, playing Animal Crossing's New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recruit up to 10 villagers to live with you on your island. Now, let's talk for just a second about your first 5 villagers. When you start the game, you're given 2 villagers to live with. These villagers are chosen for you, and you'll help set up their housing plots while choosing the location of your choice. Traveling to remote islands, you'll find various villagers wandering throughout. And if you like this particular villager, then you can speak with them to invite them to live with you. You may have to speak with them a couple times in order to invite them. Remember, at this stage, it's really up to you whether or not this villager is coming to live with you. Once you've invited three villagers, Tom Nook presents to you three housing plots for you to place throughout your island. Each plot requires specific recipes to be crafted and materials collected. Once that's done, Mr. Nook will have an announcement of your newest villagers. After resident services has been upgraded to a town hall building, you'll want to speak with Tom. He'll give you a plot map for a new campsite. A day later, it'll be announced that a new visitor has arrived and is staying at the campsite. However, Keep in mind that this villager is here to stay. Be sure to watch until the end because I've got some great pointers on how you can control which villagers live on your island. Now, you have a few options for recruiting the remaining villagers. Remember, you can have a maximum of 10. The first option is to use the amiibo cards. Tom Nook will enable this functionality at the resident services terminal soon after you've recruited your first villager from the campsite. When using the amiibo cards, the characters will appear immediately into the game. Once the villager comes to visit, you'll have various conversations and perform various tasks to invite them to stay. And this is where the second option comes into play. Speaking with Tom Nook, you can investigate more infrastructure opportunities. Tom offers more housing plots for about 10,000 bells. If you've convinced an amiibo character to stay, then they'll move in as soon as you place the plot. If you don't have a villager ready to move in, then any random villager will purchase the home. And now, we segue into the third option. The campsite is used for random villagers to visit your island. So, as you maintain your island composure and keep a high star rating, you'll soon have more opportunities to recruit villagers. Once the villager comes to visit, you can start the same process as the amiibo cards. You'll have various conversations and perform various tasks to invite them to stay. And then, placing the housing plot will allow them to move in immediately. So, here's what I recommend if you want to have a little more control over who stays on your island, and it's really simple. Don't place any housing plots until you've convinced a character to come stay on your island. If you place a housing plot, then any random villager will come to stay and you have no control over which one that is. So as villagers come through and visit you at the campsite, you can then see if you wish them to stay. If this video was helpful, then please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button.